Hi, I'm Lisa, and this is my juice. Mmm, ooh, it's fresh. Not as fresh as Lisa Juice. Connect your Lisa Juice to power using a simple USB power supply. Plug an ILDA cable to your Lisa Juice to send signals to your laser projector. A MIDI controller connected to the USB port allows me to physically interact with Lisa Juice. The display shows the running laser pattern generator. Now, it's number zero. This default generator plays an audio file that displays Lisa Juice's name. You can customize it with your own text or logo instead. I can use the MIDI controller to change the generator's parameters. Here, I'm lowering the color intensity one by one. By turning the rotary encoder, select the next pattern generator, number one. By clicking the encoder, you load it. Now I can use the MIDI controller to change the shape parameters. For example, here I can change the horizontal shape and modify the horizontal frequency to make it move. Then I can change the vertical shape and frequency to make the pattern slow down. Now I can go to pattern generator number two. I can control it through the MIDI controller and make the shape bigger. As the other patches, all parameters can be controlled using one or several smartphones or tablets connected to Lisa Juice's hotspot. In this case, I can change the number of sides. And adding some amplitude modulation to make it oscillate in size. Now I can go to pattern generator number three. It is a 3D pattern generator. I can control its shape via the phone. and can rotate it on its axis, for example, using a MIDI controller. I can also move each parameter of my laser shapes using an external audio signal. I can connect a cable to the mini jack input, adjusting its amount with the relative attenuator pot and activating audio input in the software. So, now that you've had a taste of Lisa Juice, Stay tuned for more, because the juice is the use.